Telecommunications in Latvia include radio, television, fixed and mobile telephones, and the Internet. Radio and television Radio stations Publicly owned broadcaster operates six radio networks with dozens of stations throughout the country. Dozens of private broadcasters also operate radio stations. 2007 AM1 FM 234 2016 radios 1.76 million 1997 The state public radio broadcaster is Latvijas Radio. Television stations Several national and regional commercial TV stations are foreign-owned, two national TV stations are publicly owned, systems supplemented by privately owned regional and local TV stations, cable and satellite multi-channel TV services with domestic and foreign broadcasts available 2007, 44 plus 31 repeaters 1995 televisions 1.22 million 1997 the state public television broadcaster is Latvijas Televizija topic telephones Calling code, plus 371 International Call Prefix, OO Main lines Approximately 501,000 lines in use, 97th in the world 2012. Approximately 644,000 lines in use 2007, mobile cellular Approximately 2.3 million lines 2012 Approximately 2.2 million lines 2007 telephone system recent efforts have focused on bringing competition to the telecommunications sector the number of fixed lines is decreasing as mobile cellular telephone service expands the number of telecommunications operators has grown rapidly since the fixed line market opened to competition in 2003 combined fixed line and mobile cellular subscribership is roughly 150 per 100 persons. The Latvian network is now connected via fiber optic cable to Estonia, Finland, and Sweden. 2008, until 2003, Latelecom had a monopoly in the fixed telecommunications market. This led to overwhelming use of cellular phones for private customers, fixed lines being requested mostly by companies. In Latvia exist more than 2 million mobile phones but only 644,000 fixed phone connections. Since the fixed line voice communication monopoly ended on January 1, 2003, several companies entered the market for fixed voice communication services Aeronavigasijas Service, Baltcom TV, Beta Telecom, Latvenergo Teniske Cent RS, OPT. TRON, Regatta, Telecenters, Telenets, Telecom Baltia and CSC Telecom. These voice telephony providers provide services for cheaper foreign calls, as well as local calls. The telecom regulator SPRK tries to provide a competitive environment so that new operators can compete with La Telecom which owns most of the last mile connections. Internet Top-level domain, LV Internet users 1.5 million users, 79.2% of the population, 110th in the world 2015. 1.1 million users, 2007, Internet hosts 
359,604 hosts, 58th in the world 2012, Internet service providers, 150 plus ISPs 2007, the Internet in Latvia began to experience significant growth in 1999, as the consolidation of regional Internet providers began to drive down prices for dial-up access. By 2000, there were 75,000 Internet users and about a dozen e-commerce shops in Latvia. Back then the average salary for a web programmer was 500 ls per month. High-speed access costs remained prohibitive, for example, an ADSL service was introduced in July 2000 and planned to charge a monthly fee of 50 ls. By 2003, however, only 5.4% of Latvians used the Internet at home, and 60% did not use it at all. Those who did instead accessed it in public areas or through their place of work, as high subscription prices for home usage remained a barrier. By 2008, access prices had fallen to 11.90 ls per month for the La Telecom ADSL line. By July 2015, 79.2% of the population use Internet at home. Latvia has the seventh fastest Internet in the world. Topic: Internet censorship and surveillance. There is no OpenNet initiative only country profile, but Latvia is shown as no evidence of internet filtering in all areas for which only tests political, social, conflict, security, and internet tools on the only global internet filtering maps. The constitution and law provide for freedom of speech and of the press. There are no government restrictions on access to the Internet or reports that the government monitors email or Internet chat rooms. Individuals and groups engage in the peaceful expression of views via the Internet, including by email. In September 2010, the government's Corruption Prevention and Combating Bureau, NAB, which enforces campaign laws, removed a satirical film, The Last Bear Slayer, from the on demand playlist of the partially state owned cable provider, La Telecom. The NAB stated that the film might have constituted election advertising. Reporters Without Borders charged that the prohibition constituted improper censorship, but noted it was ineffective because the film was widely available on the Internet. See also Latvian Internet Exchange Latvia <laughs>